see from far that it's loop horizontal level. So now I'm, cu I'm cutting the J channel, everything here. I'm just cutting this size. Show you for what? Using only the tools instead of a machine. You can see it's not difficult at all. Clear cut, no problem. I really want to attach this J channel to this. So you have to do it, you see, you have to go through that one, you really have to cut here three quarter of an inch. It doesn't need to be very accurate, but as you can see. Okay, so it's look okay. So now we're going to put it here. See why I cut it like that? Kind of a L shape or something, but the trick here is that you want to put it really that will go inside here. See? If it go inside here, it's a look kind of nice. So again we forgot. Again, we forgot to cut this piece, the J one. So you got the J also. Let's try again. So what, what left now is to put the J channel here and here. As you can see, I already cut a piece. I'm going to correct it. It's going from between here to here and and here to here. That was the old piece. You can see what I have to do here. You see that cut here. Actually, you have to go, if you're going like that, it will go here, and here is going to be another piece. It will cut it here. So let me just uh, cut it and put it, and I'll show you how it looks like. So here is the huddle part, which I cut. If you can look at it, so look, look here, you're going to see that I cut a little bit the J part, and that's it, the reason was, the reason is that I can put it here. So you can see, it is going here, if I point it with, a, with my pencil, see here is the place, it is going exactly here, and the, this is the J channel, I put it under this J channel, that he actually hold it strong. I cut another two pieces here, as you can see, and once you can see what I'm doing here, it's like an L shape, and the reason is, here is the J channel that I, the vertical, I want to, and that's the horizontal, so in order to get together, I see this piece is actually going inside the piece of the other, of the vertical J channel, okay, now if you look here very close, you can see I put two washers here, and this washer is to give an elevation, and when I'm going to attach it to the wall with a screw, it's going to be at least one eighth above the floor. That's important. In addition to it, I cut another piece. If you look at this piece, it looks like a masterpiece, but uh, it's not really because what I want to do here, I want, you see this piece, this horizontal piece, this is J channel that I cut here. What I want to do, I want to put this in such a way, actually, it's going to be even if I'm confusing here. So you can see what's happening here. So here I'm actually putting this piece here and the rest of the piece will go here. Okay? It's going inside and fitting exactly here. And that's why it's going here. So again, this is going here. Go 
quite a tricky one. But if you look at it now, I, I didn't screw it yet, so I didn't attach it yet, but just to understand what's going on, this is going to be an eighth of an inch above the floor, and that's the way all this J channel will go. So now I'm going to attach it with a screw. And by the way, I use also a utility knife to cut and to make some kind of cut that you cannot do with this tool. Okay, as, as usual, I'm actually starting from the center and from the center of the space here of the J channel. I'm going to give it a little bit of push. Perfect. Now I have to put another one. That's going to be also challenging. Not really. Perfect. So now what left is really this masterpiece. <laughs> so I can put it two ways here. Perfect. I think one is enough here. So as you can see, we actually completed to install all the J channel 